Do you know that my budget is up uh, seven and a half percent, uh, seven point one five percent? I did look at other ways to trim the budget. Um, some items are only a thousand dollars. Some are as high as fourteen or seventeen thousand. We do uh, uh, would be proposing in the future some budget cuts. Uh, whether you want to entertain those now or you just want to talk about the overall uh, bigger ticket items and where we stand at that, uh, that's what we would do. Why don't we go through, like other people did, you know, places where you have substantial, substantial differences? Increases. Okay. Uh, under uh, administration part time wages, the second line on, on the budget, it is up 19%. Um, that was one of the one area where um, I was going to look to trim some of that out, uh, trying to stick with more of the uh, several year average. Uh, I was looking basically to cut out 14,553. Part of that has to do with um, when you do, uh, we have the part time or the overtime uh, things. Uh, newer people have moved in. Um, uh, some of the uh, Part time was filled in before by a higher st wage staff, and so there's some adjustments over the year uh, according to that. Um, the third line, uh, fourth line down, the career incentives uh, at a thousand dollars. I'm going to strike that. That was uh, uh, something that was specifically uh, for Teresa, uh, where she retired. That's no longer needed in next year's budget. So, just thought I'd be very upfront and trim that out. Um, Going down to um, more towards the bottom of the line, diesel fuel up at, uh, if I'm reading the right line, sorry, gasoline, yep, 37.13%. I'll use the same explanation that was given before. It really comes from the finance office, and we don't, as, as you stated, I think correctly, we're coming with more accurate numbers every, every week and every year. Same thing with diesel fuel. Chris, could you just water? Water. 55%? Yes. Um, we have some 30 accounts, 25, 30 accounts. Each one of the pump stations is a uh, water account. I think there's, uh, we have like one water account at the transfer station, one at the wastewater treatment plant, one for the outside hydrant, one for the garage slash operations building. Um, we now pay a $14 and 60 some odd cent fee every year or every month for every one of those accounts. So I have a number of accounts, um, mainly the pump stations, that the water usage is 60 cents, but the bill is $14 and 60 cents of, uh, of, uh, of uh, office preparation fee from the water company. So our total increase is really due to just their, them reverting from quarterly to monthly billing, strictly. Um, Fred and I had been talking about maybe uh, possibly closing off some of the pump stations, but um, since I was on vacation last week, I hadn't really had that conversation with, with uh, wastewater treatment staff, but that is why that's up. Okay. Um, we would like to, let's see, uh, under engineering, uh, we're like looking to go from $35,000 budget this year to 55000 next year, uh, which is a 57% increase, um, you know, based upon what you heard at the last quarterly update. Very, very busy department. Um, we use this engineering account in lieu of, let's say, putting on additional staff to get outside engineers uh, directed to various tasks and problems to get these things solved so that we can then move forward each construction season with implementing them. And so from a cost performance perspective, that line is huge to us uh, because you then see it in the performance. Those items, just to add to that, the CIP plan that's put together uh, this year, I, we were very specific as to what the costs were, how it would be broken down, and the engineering costs are in there. So for each project that would be done the following year, you have to pre-engineer it. This is part of that, uh, making sure we're pre-planning so that when funds do get approved in subsequent years, we already have the planning work done so we know how much things are going to cost and we know what the design's going to take. 
people want to ask questions as they go along, which rather well, the whole Well, I think we, you know, at least look at each page okay. as we go along. Okay. I just have a, go ahead, did you have a question, Rusty? Well, I was going to make a motion that we go along with his recommendations on those two lines. Uh, line number uh, part-time wages. Trimming out 14. 14 to 593. 553. 553. Yep. And the incentive, zero. career incentives, zeroing that out. Correct. Of a thousand dollars. What's the trim? Sure, thing? anything we can take out. That's what. I'll second that. All in favor? <laughs> Good. What are we trimming? You get that, Christy? I got that. Uh, second line down and fourth line down. The part time wage line might be when you guys get yeah, to visit us later. Anyway, there'll be people that have some input in. Yeah. yeah. You might want to wait, but that just. Yeah, it, that's awesome. Should we read it, wait on the part time wage one? Because there's increases in there, Rusty, and mm -hmm. you have, the board had discussed on multiple occasions that they didn't want yeah. to give any pay. The well, it doesn't mean we can't come back at it after we have the right figure, does yes. it? Yes. Yeah, I think he just wants to bring it down. To I just want to bring it down to that. I'm not saying that we won't okay. bring that back. It's just that we, he's already given us recommendations, and we'll, we'll, we'll go to that. And if we want to bring back the, the prices, then we'll, the... Uh, okay. First, you need to let me know who you're cutting. All right, so we voted on that? Okay. All in favor? Opposed? All right, Chris, I had a question on the engineering. This year you had 35000 Right. And so far you've only spent six. Yes. Is that true or have you spent more? We've, we've committed all the money. Oh, you've committed all it the money. It is all committed, and you'll see in the wastewater treatment plant engineering line there are two. Uh, I think that might be over by 300%. Okay. okay. <laughs> so it just it's in, um, it was yep. where we needed the engineering. And 8000 of that cost increase is actually due to... Um, maintaining uh, our asset management software which we purchased earlier in the year and that's so that's coming in as a contract uh, price uh, for the half of that i would like to offer up another cut and that is uh under the federal stormwater requirements cut that from 50 to 40. cut that from 50 to 40. correct that's what you said i'll make that motion second the permit has now come out, and we actually know what's ahead of us for the coming year, and 40 is adequate to get that okay. done. All, any, any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous? Uh, Chris, on that asset management software and stuff, mm -hmm. can you, at this juncture, you know, determine how much you're saving? Not yet. No, only because it's not implemented. Okay. Correct. I, I can't determine it. And the one thing that's not uh, determinable by that, it isn't so much as the savings as actual performance. And that, uh, in the future, if people call uh, that tree that you wanted trimmed or that uh, manhole that's rattling won't get lost in the litany of emails that come in and phone calls every day. So it's really more of a, for us, it's a performance side. For the residents, it's a performance side. Uh, hopefully it will stop the three calls uh, for the pothole, get it down to one. Okay. And, and then we can uh, square away our action plan. Thank you. I'm moving on to the second page under, and I guess we're paving and reconstruction, and it goes on to cleaning and maintenance. Yep. Am I on the right page? Right yep. 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 Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, let's see. Repairs is up slightly, 2.62%. Um, only, well, and that's what we actually have for a budget this year, but it's, um, so Christy, why would it show? Oh, because we're asking, no. Oh, it got put in as 109. So it went up $3,000 to 2%. Uh, the next big one up is uh, street signs. Uh, that's up 12.5%. We're finally, for years and years and years, it's been $8,000. Um, we just, for instance, what we did earlier tonight, uh, I agree with the board's action, Drake Side Road, no parking either sign. I bet it'll take 20 signs, at least to get, you know, to get the message out there. Um, at $50 a sign and $20 a post, it doesn't come cheap. And um, as you've seen earlier this year, we've actually... Uh, I would suggest that we contract out some signage, and I know the fire, de sorry, police department actually contracted out with a local contractor 
to get some of their signage installed. Um, so uh, all that money is literally spent every single year, just replacing signs, updating stop signs, replacing street signs, and addressing what just right. occurred earlier. So this now. isn't just for like high street, that kind of street sign. It's for the speed limit. Oh, it's, it's, every, it's everything. It's stop signs, speed okay. limits, yield signs. And Fire lane, no parking. We were laughing today that somebody put up their own yield sign early in the summer they, at Little River and uh, uh, Barber. And I was, it was black letters on white. How that ever happened, I still don't know, but we did replace it um, with one that was legal. Um, storm drainage, uh, we're looking to move from 30 to 39,000 on that. It is a 30% increase. Uh, we have in the past, this past year and the end of last year, did a number of inspections with Ted Berry Company, and we've identified the pipes that need to be replaced, the repairs that need to be made. Uh, we started in the St. Cyr, Falcone, Heritage, uh, those neighborhoods. Um, I don't know if you remember me saying before, that's where we found other utility lines and really punched through our uh, storm drain lines. Uh, instead of waiting until these pipes collapse, we're actually planning on getting them lined, a pipe inside of a pipe, so that uh, we don't have to dig the streets up. And, and this is another one that follows the CIP. We started last year when we were putting it together, trying to increase the value to the needs that we actually have for the work to get done. Uh, so this goes to 2022. It was that 30% uh, each increase each year to do specific projects, uh, Tuck Field being one of them for next year. When you say a pipe inside of a pipe, you, you line it? Yeah, we actually pull in a, it's a piece of cloth um, impregnated with epoxy. They literally inflate it like a balloon. Uh, you give it a period of time to cure, uh, open up either end, and you now have a pipe inside of a pipe. And, and those aren't real old neighborhoods that you're talking about? They're there. not. Um, Poorly built? The, no, right? acidic rain. Uh, oh, okay. The, the, I mean, uh, Brad Street, for instance, I say Brad we Street looked at Brad Street, literally video inspected Brad Street, six months later the pipe collapsed. Wow. Uh, so from the inside it looked great, the outside it was paper thin. Hmm. So um, we're realizing that um, that's what's happening, it's the caustic action between the soil or in the water and the soil, and how it eats out the pipes. The next, uh, let's see, overtime wages for the winter, uh, we were trying to round that up to 70,000 from 67, 860. Um, and the same thing with hired equipment, uh, we're looking for that at 55,000 because we've actually spent uh, through last winter 56,000. Um, this is one of those lines where it is what it is meaning I don't know how much it's going to snow. Um, I think all of us in this room collectively try and sit down and target a, a, an amount. Um, if we have a light winter, I won't spend that, but if we don't, we don't. Um, but I may in fact spend 55. I don't object one way or the other of, uh, and actually have that down as one of my proposed cuts to trim it from 55 to 45. Uh, just in an effort to keep this budget more in the 5% range than, than at the 7%. But I, I throw that out there. Maybe that's something when we get to the end, we say, okay, let's go back and grab that one, or I don't know. Okay. It's, it's with mixed emotions. But, you know, I've expressed to the budget committee, expressed to this board, when it snows, we react. And I... I the money will come from someplace, but one way or the other, we're going to spend it. If it, in fact, you know, snows or ice storms, etc. Um, the next big, um, I'm moving down to the bottom page. One of the last three lines: uh, the part-time wages in the wastewater treatment plan up 27.3 percent. Um, it has to do with the number of calls that we're getting. Um, and also the fact that uh, we're short on staff. I want to go back to my... Uh... We have 7280. 
Um, it's literally based on $14 an hour, which is what we're paying currently, uh, 40 hours times 13 weeks. Um, this part-time person that we get in every year, um, we get, essentially, we've gotten two different people. We get a, uh, the operator who works out at Star Island comes in every winter, probably after Thanksgiving. Uh, we hire and have hired her for the last two winters to fill in. Uh, what it does is gives us another operational person to run the lab, uh, maintenance, daily inspection reports, um, really helps the department meet its goals, if you will. Um, the other half of that that occurs because she doesn't use up all 13 weeks of that is they actually hire, try and hire somebody during the summer to, again, help out when there's vacation periods, periods of high flow, uh, that sort of thing. So that money is, is very wisely spent and um, a very uh, cost-effective way of getting some experienced people within into the plant. I'd rather leave that and cut 10000 from snow removal, you know, when we make some value decisions. Right now, so far this year, though, you've only spent 1000 or is that? That would have been uh, because, yeah. Um, didn't you just say the person comes in later in the year, right? Right. Island. Yeah. The wages are coming. So, yeah. okay. Yeah, she's, she'll be here several weeks in November and December. Okay. And, and the snow budget, you still have time to go on that, right? Winter. Yeah, but it's, you. I've been told it's not going to snow. Yeah. So. No, you're right. It's, it's, uh, we do still have time to go. Yeah, good. Yeah, good yeah. Um, I'm moving on to the next page. Um, engineering. Engineering up 380 uh, percent. We're we're looking to move from just ten thousand dollars a year to forty eight thousand dollars a year. It has to do with. Um, the facilities plan that just recently was completed. Um, there's a number of things that have to be done or engineered, some of them big items uh, that I'm sure the engineering would be capitalized within a bond, but a number of the smaller items, no. Um, we'd have to pay for those as we go along. And that's, this is, this budget line is in direct relationship to what the facilities plan has told us. And it also includes the $8,000, uh, the other half the of other our half. asset management. The right. asset management program that we have is half uh, stormwater, half sewer, wastewater treatment plants. So we've split it between the two accounts. And, and last year it was budgeted 10000 Yes. And so far this year you've spent 81000 Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that's all related to? Well, it's all related to the condition of the wastewater treatment plant, the system, the force mains. Um, all that. Okay. All that. I mean, that's not a. That's. I mean, I'm just putting that out there. For that that's not a frill. No, I mean, no that, it's that's not, not a frill. That's not a, something I'd like to do. That's something. I have to do. It's what the facilities plan told us we need to do. Need to do. Okay. If you can, anybody else. offset that uh, in the middle heating fuel line 4110 we had requested 40 I like to cut it to 30 because the three-year average is lower than 30 and I have asked them and um, to trim some of their heating costs and uh, they believe that they'll be able to do it and stay within that budget line so to offset some of that increase in engineering that I was up above I'm offering a $10,000 cut there. I'd also like to down where it shows an 18.75% increase under vehicle maintenance. I'd like to cut 6,000 out of that, uh, bringing it from 38. Yeah, from the 38 down to the 32, which is the actual default line for that particular one this year. Part of the reason why is we've taken the older uh, roll-off uh, sludge truck offline. 
So um, I'm hoping to and will be expecting to see a reduce, uh, reduction in what it would cost to maintain the fleet. So there's 16,000 that I hope in some way would offset that. I'll make a motion that we take uh, $10,000 out of the heating fuel and $6,000 out of vehicle maintenance as per his recommendation. Uh, discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Okay. Um, under solid waste collection, the next department, under regular wages. Um, Chris, can I just go ahead? New equipment? Up 100%? Up 100% going from 10 to 20 to literally address. Uh, I won't call them nickel and dime items, but they're two, four, five, and six thousand dollar items that need that probably in the facilities plan show up, if you will, to medium or low priority. But they're still integral uh, parts to the operation, as you saw earlier tonight. While I was away last week, a thirteen thousand dollar item goes, and literally that's what it takes to keep it going. So the ten thousand this year, and there's nothing spent yet, but that that's accounted for, you think, or? Oh, I know it's accounted for. I know what okay. it's signed. All right. Yeah. So, so that's yeah. Okay. Well, he just told. Uh, she has told us that we're replacing one of those blowers, and the two oh. others are the same age. Yeah, and that ten thousand is actually for another issue we're working on right now. So. so. It's, and actually, before we move on to the okay. solid waste and everything, we're pretty much talking about right now. Coming from this uh, wastewater facilities right. plan, yes, all recommendations, a lot of the things in here are, uh, are medium the... high priority. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, something that we really need to start considering uh, okay. getting to, which you have partly done so with this budget. Yes, and I also want to say I appreciate you cutting lines that you have determined that you can cut and still are able to uh, ensure that this work begins to get done. Right. Appreciate it, thank you. It just you just have to go back to it with a different mindset and a sharper pencil, and that's what it took. Um, with that being said, under solid waste collection, uh, we are anticipating someone retiring this year. Uh, if that happens, I, that accounts up 2000 higher than I need it to be up. That would be some of the differences in salaries, uh, even with promoting some people internally, if that's how it plays out. Um, I default to what Christy said. I don't know if that's something we want to jump to right at this moment or leave to the discussion in the end. It's, as I apologize, I did not sit down with her and show her my sharp pencil work before I left on vacation. Leave that said if. Okay. Yeah. 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 Other actions yeah. 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 Okay. So let's. <clears throat> the Part-time wages is up 27 percent. Um, there again, it's um, five se seasonal rubbish people. Um, this is for that 13 weeks out of the year. $14 an hour times 40 hours. Um, it's um, it's beach trash. It's the influx of 100,000 people. This is not additional staff. This is the same five people, if I can get them every year, uh, to work at that starting wage of 14. What were they working at this year? 11. 11. So this line, this part-time wage line for solid waste collection, as well as the part-time wages under highway, these are the people that are picking up the additional beach waste, meaning rubbish recycling. We also have beach crew, which empties the uh, containers along the beaches, does the blowing of the sidewalks for uh, us to go down and sweep, and is also supplemental to our highway crew for when we're out doing trash, being able to have others. Um, we have not, just as you've heard from many of the other departments, we have not had all those spots filled. Um, some of it lends itself to the $11. At $14 an hour, it is, you're doing physical, hard, labor you're swinging trash barrels you're you're doing some of these things and they can go make money elsewhere does that fix the problem for 
you know, labor shortage? No, but what we're trying to do is make it competitive so we can have an opportunity. Um, I have a question. As far as I know that this town voted, Mr. Town Manager, you can help me out, to have all commercial trash picked up every day down the beach area, correct? We, we do pick up the commercial trash at the beach every day. Is it possible that this board, the town, however the process needs to go about, could consider limiting the amount of bins that they pick up similar to the way we do with the condos? It's possible. Um, that had been petitioned to town meeting, I think. Well, that was a little a bit different. That was <clears throat> petitioned to eliminate pickup. No, I'm talking like similar to what we do with, we have a restriction on condos. We do. So why can't we have a restriction on all businesses and residents? That would be something the board would have to discuss. And just to, I mean, for the sake of our public works department, if nothing else. Well, there, there are some restrictions. Um, one restaurant should name, remain nameless is literally limited to 27 containers because that's the length of the curb uh, that's there divided by three feet. That's the formula that this department uses. Uh, we're on record with that particular entity and, and they know it, that that's, that's the physical limit. We've had multiple discussions with them. If you have more glass than that and you have more cardboard than that, you'll have to bring it to the transfer station your own. And they do. They, they take, they manage their excess. Um, my, my caution with just saying commercial, it's fairly evident to me with what we experienced this summer that that is one of those critical services that needs to happen on a daily basis to keep the beach area odor free, looking presentable clean and, and um, I'd rather say that I'm not handling cardboard than, than say I'm not handling commercial waste. That would be a big help because cardboard isn't putrid, uh, it's bulky, it would allow me to divert possibly a truck away from recycling towards collection waste. But after what I experienced, we experienced this summer, um, given the density of buildings and density of people down there, I would say it's almost imperative that we collect trash, uh, especially what I would consider putrid waste, uh, food waste, vegetable waste, beer bottles on a daily basis. Help. I defer to the board. Yeah. yeah, we've been down this road uh, too many times, and I don't think this is the time to talk about uh, it. This is the totally budget that we're aware of. Now. Well, every single line item and under waste collection is up by a substantial amount. That's why I'm bringing it up. So, may I, Mr. Chairman? Hey, you may. Go ahead. Thank you. I, I, I haven't had uh, an opportunity to uh, say anything because I've been thinking. Um, and uh, we, we most recently had uh, a resignation from an appointed official uh, to an advisory committee in the town of Hampton. Uh, the reason, and, and here's the paper, was about a tort action for unreimbursed expenses. Mm -hmm. The significant thing in your budget, um, the glaring thing in your budget to me, is what's not in there. Uh, and where it is, is in the Warren articles. And I know, and you know, um, when you total them up for your initial warrant articles, uh, it approaches $12 million yes. of ask. Let me say that again for those that uh, um, uh, ascribe to uh, not pursuing revenue in this town. Uh, $12 million, and I don't think any of that is uh, uh, fluff. In fact, I know it's not. And uh, some of it, if it goes south, imperils uh, the very existence of this town. And uh, tens and tens, if not uh, dozens and dozens of tens of millions of dollars to the state of New Hampshire. Let alone what will happen to the business communities in this town, paying their mortgages. So while this is not an operational uh, discussion, uh, what's not in your budget, in zero lines, uh, if we as leaders in this town look at your ask on the... Uh, warrants, uh, and they go from uh, the main force line, 
They go from roads. They go to seawalls that are falling down that do indeed look third world down at North Beach. Uh, it's problematic. And when Selectman Barnes answers the call of this, this, uh, this grasp and this need for the town, uh, we talk about uh, enterprise value systems. We talk about this, this cost of picking up trash. We talk about our workers' compensation costs. We talk about the labor. We talk as uh, the finance director has uh, ascertained, done the great work with Gatsby 45, that this town has unaddressed, uh, and we see it out in Lafayette Road th this year. You talked about it tonight, and Selectman Bridal brought it up. Pipes are literally falling in, and uh, our depreciation expense and our auditors will be in here soon to reemphasize this. It's 10% of our budget a year. It's about two and a half to $3 million a year, and it's never been addressed. And uh, this uh, is, is the year where we are really reaching the tipping points, and it's with your department. And uh, none of this is state-of-the-art, none of this is luxury. Um, and so when we look at your budget and we're going through these motions, the real infrastructure, the real need uh, is glaring, and it's hugely problematic. And when people, uh, and we'll be talking about this, and I'm, I'm happy to address this, and happy to entertain people that want to oppose uh, this town looking for revenue for people to get a free ride. And we have close to $12 million in public works on this warrant articles, and that's just public works. So it's coming up, and it really makes it difficult, Mr. Chairman, fellow board members, and citizens, if you're watching, to even try and grapple with this budget and approve it outside of the context about which two or three million, or which four million, or which five million, do you think out of your $12 million ask, the voters will approve? And it's, it's, uh, that's the real salience here. And if you're a leader, and if you're a business owner, and if you have any business sense, that's the adult end of the swimming pool. That's where you put on the big boy and the big girl pants. And I, I wanted to get that out there, and I'm happy to listen to you. are gonna cut 5,000 here. I'm happy to hear it's five points, but it's really not that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, please. Oh, let's see. Um, we were at uh, Saw Waste Collection. Um, that's the actual, um, that's the people that actually do the, do the, to drive the trucks to actually collect. I, I didn't want it, someone to think that that's like the transfer station because that's its own separate line. Um, so um, there's a possibility for 2,000 uh, to be cut there. Um, Which line's that? That would have been under four three two one two eleven hundred S then S W C the regular very top wages, one regular, regular wages. Is it a thousand of it? Two thousand possibly, but there again, it's it's based on um, the wage ones. We want to meet with Christy and just make okay. sure we okay. haven't. Um, I mean, because okay. this feels right. I, I'm saving a quarter penny. Well, well, <laughs> yeah, at best. The, yeah, the wage ones. I think we just need to confer with yeah, Christy yeah, because she did go through and look at all the that's SEA fine. and Teamster right. steps yeah. and things. We don't want to miscalculate. Right. Um, moving on to uh, solid waste uh, transportation, and then and then the the final big department is uh, transfer station. Um, I'd move to cut out of solid waste tipping fees because uh, there again I, I really looked at the, the tonnages and how it's tracking, uh, eliminating $17,927. And out of the, uh, the waste hauling, because if the tonnage is, is not there, then the, 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 the transportation, I'd like to eliminate $2,630 from that line. So, so what line was that, Chris, please? That would be under uh, 5310 WT waste tipping fees, okay. and then 5320 WT waste hauling. And how much are you talking about? Uh, the first amount was 17927 off that off that $474,000 line, and um, 2630 off of the uh, waste hauling line. Move those two. Second. All in favor? Unanimous. And um, let's see. Tr under transfer station, the 
it's kind of a plus and a minus. I see uh, one line goes up 25%. Uh, um, it's in the part-time, there again, part-time wages. Um, we always have uh, one person for uh, during the summer to help with the peak, and that's really where this line is, and I think the same thing, it went from... $11.14 to $14. To $14 an hour. Right. And then there was also a trade-off with uh, the grade for the um, heavy equipment operator. Currently, we're always yes. paying the temporary service at a rank because they're always operating the heavy equipment. Um, so their job description should be heavy equipment. Um, the offset was $280, so that's in here somewhere too. Right. And But that it is further um, uh, reduced uh, under staff development. There's, uh, for instance, uh, we're ask, it looks like the periods that we're asking for less money. We went down $700 under staff development. It's a 28% loss uh, overall for the department. For the transfer station, it's, it's down 0.38%. So checks and balances tended to, to uh, work themselves up. Other than that, um, those are the changes. You do see under sewer line maintenance at 148. Um, we're asking for there again 200 uh, 200 thousand going into the coming year. Um, Jennifer can probably help me. Up there. Yep, that is the CIP as well. These are planned projects. Um, so the engineering you saw on the other lines are for actually 2019 projects. The dollars you're seeing here are for the construction of the 18 projects that we're working on now. Okay, uh, moving on. Um, back to the sewer agreement um, is the last big hit coming up at 237% increase as uh, uh, board may or may not recall uh, our original agreement with Exeter for everybody over in the War Warner Lane, Donna's Lane area, because that's the section of town that discharges into Exeter. Uh, they've approved a $40 million bond issue um, to meet uh, federal requirements for their uh, wastewater treatment plant. Uh, they're actually building a plant. Um, they went up to 23647 for the same agreement. From seven thousand. Thousand. Yeah. I think this kind of speaks to the point that everybody's making that we're providing a lot of free rides around here. That that people, you know, I mean, I mean, your department needs a lot of money. And people have to somehow come up with the money for your department to operate. And you know, like like Exodus says to us, hey, we, we need we need to raise it up two hundred and thirty seven percent. So you guys are going to pay it. And then we leave ours the same as it is, and then we struggle, 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 and it doesn't get fixed. So, I mean, like, I agree 100% that the, the, the trash collection, the sewage, we've got to take a really serious look at it and say, you know, are we, what are we providing? And what, what are people paying for? And I know, Rick, that it's been brought up and brought up and brought up, but I think... It, you know, we don't need to discuss it right now tonight, but it's something we seriously, seriously have to think about. Well, it's, it's what's coming to roost is what Selectman Bean basically stated, and that over the last, and, and maybe before we did Gatsby 34, is it? 45. 45. You really, we didn't really have a, a factual handle on what that depreciation was, which was uh, Pipes deteriorating, uh, the primary effluent pumps in the in the station being the, the same one since 1974, um, and now that we've come to realize that we are depreciating at 10% per year, and that that it's now coming to roost, and we're we're coming to grips with it, and and in some respects we're going to be playing some catch up for a number of years, but I I would also agree with and being that if we don't start to play some of that catch up, and it really is up to the voters in the number of warrant articles that they can or want to or don't want to approve, is how much we play catch up. Uh, 
because it'll only get more expensive and, and it's in some ways um, it's unavoidable. Um, you know, it, I look at that. It's up to the voters, but it's up to us and up to, uh, up to the it's, departments it, to get out there and promote it. To make exactly. Sure that they're aware of what they need. It, it first was up to us to bring this forward. Yeah. Um, well, it's you, up to us to promote it. You and the taxpayers and get it out voted there the, the 90000 We had the study done and then to bring it forward and to have an honest discussion about yeah. it. Right. Can I ask a question, Mr. Sure. Chairman? Is this report, is this public? Or I know we received it. When it was released to you, it essentially became. Okay, because public. there's some really good information in here about what needs to be done correct and actually i know no one wants to read a 300 page document or whatever it is but just reading the first executive summary just those first few pages um really interesting these systems will require comprehensive upgrades in order to provide continued reliably reliable and safe service for the town right. okay town should continue working with known high or not that one we got another one in here that's really good um the hampton beach area has been identified as a significant source of direct inflow salt water during high tide events in addition to occupying potential sewage conveyance and treatment capacity this explains everything that needs to be done and then they have charts in here they got a bunch of information that Stresses Section the, four breaks it all right, down as to which right, cost, projects at what roughly cost. Roughly, it's about thirteen thousand something for the first year. They're estimating thirteen million for the thirteen million I'm in the sorry. first phase. Thirteen million <laughs> yeah, for the second phase. Um, <laughs> yeah. But it's something that I don't know this whole thing, but I think it really it could be a selling point that this work is important, and maybe this work shouldn't just be the town's responsibility to get done. That's all I have to say. I did have my staff go back, and I'll, and I'll release it to to you tomorrow. I, I want them to put a header to it, but I had them go back and look at the previous facility study. Is the information contained within the new study like totally new? No. Um, just read you this one paragraph: five areas of immediate concern. This is in 2006. Equipment and ventilation modifications to the headworks, meaning where the waste comes into the plant. Right now, uh, the ventilation is so poor, everything corrodes. Uh, influent pump station modifications, meaning uh, the same pumps that were installed in 1974 are still in service. Uh, older than me, by the way, for anyone that cares to uh, uh, Heating, <laughs> ventilation, air conditioning modifications to the <laughs> operations building. Uh, the sewer gases in the operations building are they're not really good um, installation of sufficiently sized emergency generator that's something that we re-identified two years ago um, so so some of these things have have always been there um, and so we're getting to the point where it can no longer be overlooked right. yeah but I'll get you that memo. And then you can see they compared for you 2006 to 2017. And you look and say, it's some of the same projects. So we got away. We postponed it for 10 years. It's really getting to the point where we really can't postpone it much longer. At least not all the projects. Okay. I'm done with budget presentation questions. I think you've answered most. Of the, well, let's. I'm, I'm good. Thank answered you. Answered most of our questions. You know, I think I think I would just assume wait on this budget. Mr. That's Chairman, what I, I would just assume uh, wait. And, uh, I I think your your comments are very prescient, and uh, and as part of that that waiting, Mr. Chairman, if we could uh, um, have a discussion through the town manager about that ask on the Warren articles and mm -hmm. somehow because the lines are zero, but they're in the warrant and they're exigent. So right. if we incorporate that, okay, you've got almost 12 million of ask, but what two or three or four or five, and prioritize those, and then we can wrap around, because those really are essentially part of the budget. Yes, I would agree. Whether and the voters go for it or not. And I would make a recommendation that, that, that we and you include the budget committee in the, on that, Important stuff and get working before you have to go before them 
so they're well aware of what's going on, what 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 the needs are, and that it's not just wants. Right. You know, I, yes. I would recommend. Yeah, it's it's we haven't dreamed it up. It isn't like I know that. Yeah, I agree with you 100. percent We. Yeah. Okay. You know, sad thing is there'll be people that say you have dreamed it up. <laughs> Well, the, the only comment that I have heard to that is, geez, I never heard about this before. Yeah. Um, but the comment, the discussion with, with that particular gentleman was, hey, it's in the 2006 report. And yeah. um, it's just that we never really read it or grasped it um, in its, in, to its full extent. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.